moving on. These are the GS Extreme from Axel. They enhance, they protect, and they've got Bluetooth audio. I have tested these things extensively. I've used them here on the firing line. I've used them here in the pits. I've used them here out hunting. I've used them on flights, the Bluetooth feature, watching uh, Netflix shows on my iPad, and I've used them as just a Bluetooth when I'm on my phone. And I've used them here out doing a walk around on the 747. It's very loud with the packs and everything running, uh, like I said here in this video. Anyway, come in this nice case. It's a little bit large. Uh, where'd that one go on the uh, Surefire? So you can see how much larger the case is than the Surefire. These fit very easily in your pocket. These will go in a pocket, uh, cargo pocket. They're a little bit more suitable. But go in your range bag very good. And go in my flight bag good. Comes with a charging cord. Uh, so you need a USB block. And then you plug the USB-C into the uh, unit itself. So this is what they look like. Uh, all your controls are on the back of these. You've got a left and a right. They are marked left and right. Uh, but they're marked back here on the back portion. You can see that there. They go over your ear to help them stay in place and in. And like I said, they have three functions. They function as just normal, you know, junk in your ear to drown out noise. And I think on that, they give them a rating of, well, what was it on DB? I think it was 21. I can't remember what the exact DB rating on it was. I think it was 21 to 24. Um, they probably don't work quite as well as the Surefires, but they do work pretty well. One thing I don't like about these is the ear foam. It's not as good of memory foam as what was on the Surefire. Yeah, you can mash it up, but you can see it returns back to its shape a little bit too quickly for me. I've got to get them like right up next to my ear, mash them up just a little bit, and then quickly get them in my ear. Uh, and then put the ear loop over, which is a little bit cumbersome, and then hold them in there for a second, work them around to get a good seal. Once I do, they work okay. Again, part of that may just be my giant ear holes. <coughs> but uh, with that, they do a, an excellent job of attenuating noise. But one thing I've noticed with these, like if I move my head around, like especially if I'm looking up, like I'm doing a walk around on the airplane, if I'm looking up, a lot of times that seal that I have created will break a little bit and then the noise attenuation is not as good. So that's one drawback for, on them. Um, on pure earplug type hearing protection evaluation, I would rate these overall about a 4.3 to 4.4. Uh, I don't think they're quite as good as the Surefires and mostly it's because of breaking that seal. If I could keep them seated all the time, I'd probably give them a 4.9 on the uh, just flat out hearing protection. Let's move on to the controls. There's a power button right here on the left earpiece, as well as volume down, volume up controls. To turn them on, you just slide that little thing on right there, and they come on. You can see the green light on. Uh, these probably need to be charged. I gotta go to work today, so I'll be uh, charging them up and using them. Um, and then turn them off. But that's the volume up, volume down. On the right side, you have the Bluetooth uh, on feature, and you also use that for pairing. And you have, you can skip tracks forward and back or take calls. I use these a lot just with my phone, you know, instead of using uh, just an iPod uh, earbud. And they work really good on that. Everybody, the sound quality is great. And everybody I've talked to, they say, you know, from their end that the sound quality coming from me works really, sounds really good. 
One thing I will have to say about the Bluetooth feature, especially listen to music, I don't think the frequency response is quite as good as my iPods. Um, like I said, you know, I, I do have quite a bit of hearing loss and I, you know, pretty much anytime I'm listening to stuff in these, I got to have them on full volume. But, um, I noticed that the, I noticed that the upper end of the frequency range, like the, the really high treble stuff and the really low bass, uh, it's not as prominent in these as it is with the iPods. The Bluetooth does connect very quickly after you pair it. Pairing was, you know, it's like pairing anything Bluetooth. It was not, you know, the biggest pain in pairing Bluetooth that I found is like when I have a rental car, trying to find the daggum rental car. Uh, most other things pair pretty good, and these are no exception. They pair really great uh, and quickly. Um, right over here is the charge port. You can just pull that out, pop the cable in. I've had a little bit of trouble with that when I'm ready to charge sometimes. I'm, I'm digging at this thing, trying to get it out. But if you just, right along the top there, if you just get your a bit of, bit of your nail right there, they should pop right out. And it's got a really flimsy retainer on it yet, but I've been using these for, I don't know. I ain't broke them yet, so, uh, you know, I break a lot of stuff, so they must be pretty tough. Now, these things also work as amplification, and that is a mode, like, I've used that a lot, like, when you're hearing range commands, especially on rifle stuff, like service rifle, the range officer, he may be down, you may be way far away from the range officer, and they might not have a megaphone, uh, so amplified hearing helps a lot in that area, um, Like I said, I got some hearing loss, so there's a lot of things I don't hear. When I first tried these, I put them on, went outside in the woods next to my house, put the amplification on, turned them way up. I'm like, OMG, I'm hearing stuff that I didn't even know was out here. Like different kinds of bugs and birds that I, I wasn't hearing. The amplification works really great. It's a... Uh, it's probably a, not 100% of a natural sound, uh, but it does amplify really well. Uh, one complaint I have about that is it also amplifies the background white noise a little bit too. It's not, it's not horrible, but the amplification feature on these is really good. You know, for, for you guys and gals out there that are hunters um, and you want that one or two shot hearing protection, man, these things are it because you can put these in have the amplification going and you're going to hear stuff that you've never heard before. So, you know, so that squirrel or chipmunk rooting around in the leaves that you thought was a deer coming your way, you're going to hear it a lot quicker. And like I said about the amplification of the background noise, if I'm using these like on a commercial flight, uh, when the company's moving me around or if I'm just sitting in the back and try the amplification, uh, you know, somebody comes up and talks to me. So I'll flip the amplification on. It's like, Man, it, it amplifies the white noise on a on an airplane a whole lot. Um, when you're just outside in nature and there's not a lot of ambient white noise, it's not too bad. I do find that these are very comfortable, and I've worn them for I've worn them probably for six six hours total. I mean, six hours at a stretch, like when I go on my break on the airplane or uh, you know at, at a shooting match. I've left them in the whole time, just changing the modes around from uh, amplification to just nothing, or I just have the uh, attenuation. One thing I don't like, one thing I don't uh, really care for on the amplification, and it's probably a safety and a legal uh, feature that they have in it. So like when you turn it off and you turn the amplification off and you're just using them for uh, uh, noise attenuation, turn it back on because you want the amplification back Let's say you had it at almost all the way up or three fourths of the way up. It's not going to be there when you turn it back on. It's going to go all the way back down to the lowest level, which is like zero amplification. So you're going to have to bump it up to get it back to where you wanted it. But it's kind of a small thing. Batteries. Yes, you do have to charge this thing. And they advertise 25 hours of run time. I don't know what runtime is. <clears throat> is runtime when you're 
running the amplification or running the Bluetooth or using the combination thereof, I don't know. They advertise 120 hours of standby time. Standby time must mean you're not using any amplification or Bluetooth. You just got them in your ear trying to drown out loud noises. Yeah, battery ought to last easily 120 hours that way. But in my use of them, I have found a little bit depends on how heavy I'm using them, but on average, I'm getting about eight and a half hours out of a charge. Now, that's a good long day though. And that's with heavy amplification use and heavy Bluetooth use. So like almost steady and I'm getting eight and a half hours out of it. And they're charging back in about two hours. A lot of that just depends on the amperage of the USB charging plug that you're using. You know, a fast charger is going to go a little faster. I guess these things are rated for use with a fast charger. I don't know. I haven't checked. I've used them. Uh, but the one that I normally use is not a fast charger. And it takes about two hours. So, overall, I think I'm going to have to give these uh, probably about a 4.6, maybe a 4.7. They're really good. They work well. Uh most things are as advertised other than the battery life for me. Um, price point, mm, they're a little bit pricey, but when you consider that these things are triple threat, you know, they provide hearing protection, they provide amplification, they provide Bluetooth use, which, you know, get a lot of things out of that. <clears throat> the price point's probably not too bad, and I sure do not regret my decision to buy these. I like these a lot. I use these, probably more than I use my iPods. So that's the axle. Go check them out. If uh, that's the kind of thing you're looking for, that is a great product. That's really good. I mean, you don't want to be on an airplane wearing a pair of these that amplifies hearing around and Bluetooth. You look like an idiot. The axle, I highly recommend it. It's crusty old marine approved. So go get your pair if that's what you're looking for. Remember kids, X's win matches. Keep the greasy side down. Y'all have a good one.